Hello. Since there have been several questions on uh, regression, linear and nonlinear regression on the forum, I thought I would make a quick tutorial uh, today. Uh, so this tutorial will take up one example and see what we mean by nonlinear regression and what we mean by linear regression. Okay. So the example that we take is let us say the model is R equal to A divided by B plus P. Okay. A and B are the things that are unknown and the data is collected through experiments for the values of R for different values of T. So these are the values of T and these are the corresponding values of R. Now as it, it might be obvious by looking at this, okay, right at the outset this particular functional form is non-linear in A and B. Because it's non-linear in A and B, we need to use a non-linear regression method such as LSQ non-lin. So let's go to MATLAB and solve this using LSQ non-lin. Fun. Okay. Now, what does this function, uh, what does this function supposed to return? So for that, let's do help LSQ non-lin. Okay. What we want to do in non-linear or linear least squares is find out the values of a and b such that the error between this data and this model is minimized okay if we see the help of lsq nonlin um, let's see where it is uh, what it says is lsq nonlin attempts to minimize the square of fun so what should fun return fun should return the errors so that a and b that minimize the sum of square errors are found. So function f e r r equal to uh, lsq fun and what should be the argument? We want to find out the fees. We want to find out a and b for which this value is minimized. So let's write down the data. The data is t equal to 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Okay. Okay. Now the first thing that I have said multiple times in this course is when we have a vector, we want those vectors to be column vectors. So multiple number of rows and single column. So therefore as written t and r we are going to transpose. Next is get the parameters from the fee. So get parameters. Okay, A is fee 1 and B is fee 2. Compute the error. In order to compute the error, we first need to compute R model and R model is given by this equation. So R model is given by A divided by B plus T. Okay, A divided by B plus T. Now t is a vector and therefore we need to do this as dot slash b plus t and our error which is f e r r is nothing but the difference between r and r model okay and we save this and we are done with the function for lsq fun okay next what we want to do is say make a regress solve regression solving okay this is going to be our script so for solving uh, using lsq non-lin okay so what do we need in order to solve using lsq non-lin we want we need the data and we want the initial values so let's say the initial values were 10 and 10. So that's our initial values and our final solution is going to be equal to LSQ non-lin. Okay. Function and phi not. So the function is going to be at phi or at p uh, LSQ fun p comma phi not. Okay. And when we do that, that's all we need to do. We don't need to do anything else. 
we run this and we are get we have got the values of fee so if we write down the fee fee is 9.4 and 22.4 now we can also solve this using linear regression but not in the form that it is written in order to use linear regression this has to be converted into a form which is linear in the parameters to do that we can invert this model and we will get if we represent y equal to 1 by r then we will have y equal to a0 plus a1t okay or rather a1x so linear least squares So our y is 1 by r and our x is t. So our x is just t. Okay. What did we do in linear regression is we created a matrix x. Okay. For in the case of y equal to a0 multiplied by 1 plus a1 multiplied by x, we created the matrix x was once n comma 1 okay that represent this and x that was our x matrix okay so we are going to make an x matrix in a similar way our x matrix is going to be once n comma 1 comma x we need to also specify what n is gonna be and n is gonna be length of t okay the lin for linear is going to be equal to inverse of x transpose x multiplied by x transpose y. That's going to be our phi lin. Once we get that phi, we can calculate the values of a and b. Okay, a is nothing but 1 by phi 2. A is 1 and what's our b? b is going to be phi lin 1 multiplied by a phi lin 1 multiplied by a so let's save this and let us run this okay there's an error on line number 10 column 22 okay we have forgotten to put this multiplication sign so inverse x transpose x inverse multiplied by x transpose multiplied by y so let's save this and now let us run this undefined variable r okay that's because we haven't taken this data so let's copy this data and paste it over here okay linear least squares and for solving using lsq nonlinear. so now hopefully this should work linear transformation and obtain original parameters so let's save this and let's run this okay and we will see our fee is 9.4 and 22.4 our a is again 9.4 and our b is 22.6 so what we have done is solve the same problem using non-linear regression as well as using linear regression. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Thanks.